This is Marcus Dillman giving a video on comparing strings. Preface. The ability to compare different strings is possible through the string class in Java. Out of the many methods in the string class, we are given the compare to class to compare any two strings. The compare to method is used to determine whether one string is greater than, equal to, or less than another string. This method returns an integer. The general form is described here. int result equals string1 dot compare to string2. Other examples we have int result and result equals name dot one compare to name two. And then we also have result equals name one dot compare to Marcy. Name two here is a variable, but Marcy here is a string literal. Both are acceptable when using the dot compare to class in Java. What is returned? When string one is less than string two, the value returned is negative. And result string, string one, apple. String two equals bear. Here we have result to store the um, to, to restore the int, the integer is going to be returned. So we have string one dot compare to string two. System dot out that print line result. We have negative one, meaning apple is less than bear. We'll have a proper explanation of that later. Similar to here, when string one is greater than string two, the value returned is positive. Once again, you have int result. String 1 here is canon, string 2 here is apple, and then we have string 1 dot compared to string 2, and the results printed out here, and the results 2. C A N N O N, that's 6, and apple is 5 letters, so canon got longer. String 1 is less, less than, um, <clears throat> when string 1 is the same as string 2, a 0 is returned. So once again, we have result here, apple and apple, string one dot compare to string two. Print out the result, we have zero. Apple and apple are the same. Internally, a character, characters are represented by numbers. Java uses Unicode to represent characters. <coughs> Each character is assigned a different Unicode number. For example, A65, B66. However, lowercase a is 97 and lowercase v is 98. So when compared to examine strings character by character, it checks until different characters are found. The value return is the difference between the Unicode numeric, the Unicode numeric code for the characters. Here we have string 1, Aaron, and string 2, Air, Apple. We have two A's followed by R-O-N and Apple, A-B-E-L. Result equals string one dot compare to string two. We have negative one because A is considered less than apple because A is less than B in the Unicode scale because as we have up here, A is 97, B is 98. So the result is actually the result of 97 minus 98 because string one's here, string two's here. However, when using the dot compare to class, it's more advantageous not to save the value that's returned. So we often compare it to zero in if statements. So here we have if string one dot compare to string two is less than zero, string one is less than string two equals negative. Similar here is string one dot compare to string two is more than zero, string one is greater than string two, i.e. positive. And if they're the same, equals equals zero, string one is the same as string two. However, here's a more practical example. String one is Donna, string two is Betty. If string one dot compared to string two is less than zero, the output will be the output would be Donna is less than Betty. Similarly for if it's more than or if it's equal to. Let's check um, let's check in the code. Here we have it here. Have it compile. Have it run. Here we have it printed out. Donna is more than Betty. As to say, because D is higher than 
B on the Unicode scale, we printed out our second if statement. String 1 dot compared to string 2 is more than 0, Donna is more than Betty. In review, um, the, here's a review of the compare to class. String 1 is the string that calls the compare to method. When string 1 is less than string 2, the value return is negative. When string 1 is greater than string 2, the value return is positive. When string 1 is the same as string 2, the value returns 0. That should wrap things up for the comparing strings discussion. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.